Okay, if you haven't watched the Bowser and Bowser Jr. act like, well, a dad and a son, go watch it. After you set up your Switch's parental controls, it'll help you feel so much better after we deal with the small pain of having to use the website, the phone app, and the Switch just to set up parental controls. You might want something to drink. Nintendo has the best video explaining parental controls and arguably one of the most frustrating ways to set up and implement. Because of how Nintendo designed the platform, we are only concerned with how to change playable games, time played, and communication. To get started, I recommend creating our parent account first and then logging into the Nintendo website from there. We can create our family group and ensure our kids are nested in the family. This is important because it allows us greater control for eShop spending limits and reports. The eShop is where you can buy games online digitally and we don't want our kids to spend a ton of money on that, right? Next, we download the parental control app on our mobile device and pair it with the Switch. Pretty simple, eh? Then we go to the switch of settings, create new users, add the user's names that we created on the web page earlier. It sounds really simple. It takes a few minutes, but it's not too hard. Okay, now we have everything we need to set up parental controls. Surprisingly, we can't manage anything from the Switch itself. Spinning is controlled on the website, while time and content are controlled on the app. Yes, spinning can be accessed on the app, but only through a web browser, but it's clunky and it's slow, it's just easier to do it on the web page. Spinning can be restricted or disabled by username, while time played and content are restricted at the console level. This means that time restrictions I set for my sons now apply to me as well until I enter the pin and authorize myself some more time, but that's neither here nor there. So how do I set the time restrictions and limitations? On the app, go to time and either blanket set it across the week or manage every day individually. I prefer to set playable windows, a restriction, with only one to one and a half hours a day to play. We can also extend the time code allowed with the pin code, like I mentioned earlier, which can be found on the app. I suggest changing it from default. Lastly, we can restrict content by ages on the Switch. That means in the United States, for example, Nintendo applies ESRB ratings based on the age restricted, and no one on that Switch can play those games until it's modified on the app. There is also the ability to enable games individually, and also extremely important, restrict communication. Although this is a blanket turn on, turn off. That means no one can communicate in any game with anyone, even if they're on the friends list. And that's it. Switch doesn't have a native web browser, so we don't have to go through and talk about that. There is a hidden one through a DNS trick. You can YouTube that. We're really only concerned with the games, time, and communication on this platform, though. If you have any questions, please ask them down below or on Twitter or Instagram, or come check out the Wednesday night live streams that we do at live.rittergaming.com. Anyway, this has been Wes from Ritter Gaming. I really enjoy helping making the community a better place and so does everybody else at the Ritter Gaming team. So remember, do good, play hard, game on, and we'll see you next time.